sci-fi and fantasy short stories. Feedback by Taiyo Fuji. Translated by Toshia Kame. Ow! Ouch! Right there, doctor! The patient writhes on the stretcher, grimacing in pain. The smell of fear permeates the air. Uh, the twelfth vertebrae! My spine! Ow! A cry of agony echoes through the chilly emergency room. In the midst of this, the doctor keeps his cool. He pays him no attention and casts his ice-cold gaze towards me. How is it? The doctor asks, staring at me but not really seeing me. When I've barely opened my mouth to deliver my diagnosis, a severe pain shoots through me, making me double over. A groan escapes from between my clenched teeth, passes through the headset microphone, and shrieks out of the speaker at my waist unleashing a deafening howl. It's feedback. I carry around the speaker with me because sometimes I can only muster a barely audible whimper, but this time it's backfired. I hurriedly switch off the microphone. The fifth rib is fractured, I manage to stammer, and caused a mediastinal perforation of 2.5 centimeters. The doctor looks aghast for a moment, and then nods. <sighs> Just as I thought. Hey, folks! Let's get busy! Move! X-rays, please! As nurses scramble frantically, I leave the ER and head to the break room to get some shut-eye. Once inside, I look at all the faces. Some are new, others familiar, more new than old each time. They chit-chat about themselves, telling each other where they went to school, get-to-know-you stuff. And there's the rest of us. We know when to close our eyes. Decades ago, scientists discovered a synesthetic nervous system. It's located in the ventral premotor cortex and enables us to feel others' pain. Further research revealed that electrical stimulation amplifies our synesthetic ability for those of us who are born with B2 mutations. That was how the new profession of pain feeling came into being. Our job was to describe our patient's pain in medically accurate terms. Around the time I started medical school, I found out that I was a B2 mutation carrier. So it made sense to me to become a pain feeler. Those of us who share pain for a living are a close-knit bunch. We frequently chat via Zoom. Just like any other profession, our online meetings turn into gripe sessions and gossip. In this line of work, we appreciate outlets for releasing work-related stress. If there's one thing all of us hate, it's working in the ER. I suppose it's easy to imagine why. We are inundated with patients in extreme pain. The PA system squeals and emits a grainy, static sound. Here we go again. What did I tell you? Calling for the pain feeler on duty? A familiar yet distant voice booms over the speaker. We've got a car accident victim. Please report to the second ICU. I get up with a sigh, but sprint out of reflex. Scanning my ID at the door, I step inside and go to a patient strapped in the stretcher. With a syringe to inject a synesthesia implant, I grab the patient's wrist and look for a place to insert the implant. He looks familiar. He's my fellow pain feeler. Don't, he says. I know what he means. Even so... I continue out of inertia. My tired hand automatically moves and slides the implant into the patient. Numbness spreads in the upper part of my right thigh bone. It's a sprain or a fracture. In an instant, we amplify each other's pain through the implant. I collapse to the floor as the worst pain a human could experience seizes me. It's feedback. That's the last thing that flashes into my mind before I pass out. A synesthetic nervous system. It makes sense to most of us. After all, 
we find great comfort in the biological proof that we can share each other's pain. We all feel a sting when we hear a story that involves some kind of accident. Some may shun our abilities. Others may even question our sanity. Others may wonder, is this what you get in exchange for your gift? All I can say is that this is what I signed up for. Taiyo Fuji was born on Amami Oshima, an island midway between Kyushu and Okinawa. In 2012, his self-published Gene Mapper became Amazon.co.jp's number one Kindle bestseller of the year. The revised version of the novel was published in both print and digital formats as Gene Mapper Full Build by Hayakawa Publishing in 2013 and was a finalist for the Nihon SF Taisho Award and the Siyun Prize. In 2015, his second novel, Orbital Cloud, earned both awards. In 2019, he gained mainstream recognition when he won the Yoshikawa AG Literature Prize for New Writers for Hello World. What a cool concept. I absolutely loved this idea. I don't think this is based on anything real. I could be wrong. I tend to keep up on this kind of thing, and I haven't heard anything, but it could be related to something empathy-wise. I know that people have talked about the ability to feel others' pain as a use of diagnosing symptoms before. I don't know where I heard that, but I know I've heard that idea. But the idea of feedback, being stuck in a constant loop where each of you is feeding back what you just felt, amplifying it each time, I thought that was just absolutely brilliant. So great job, Tayo. If you can't tell, this one definitely hit my nerdy side right where it counts. If you guys did like this even half as much as I did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment if you're listening on YouTube. Or if you're listening to the podcast, I could always use more reviews over on Apple Podcasts. I'm Chris Heron, and that's it for today's Tall Tale TV.